Hi there, my name is Carlos and I'm a qualified CPA working with outsourced tax and accounting firm Fusion CPA. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a dynamic and live budget versus actual report in Excel using NetSuite custom segments. As discussed in my previous video, unfortunately, NetSuite doesn't allow you to create budget versus actual reports that include the custom segments. On my screen right here, I have this official NetSuite documentation. And if we look at this section right here, we can see on this note that custom segments are not included in the budget and financial fields of the financial report builder. And also the allow web query option is not available for this report. What that means is that if you go to report, bank banking and budgeting budget budget versus actual and click on this you will arrive at this screen right here and if you go to edit columns budget and financial section you will not see custom segments here and that seems odd because netsuite allows you to create budgets using custom custom segments so yeah it's a uh, unfortunate limitation that you will encounter while you uh, work with this kind with this type of report. Also, as mentioned, if you go to more options, you will not see the allow web query option for this report. As a workaround, you can use what I've created on my previous video. And to recap, my previous video, I used three different types of information. First, the actuals. The actuals were extracted from NetSuite using web query. I have this query right here that represents actuals. I downloaded budgets, but for your workflow, instead of downloading budgets, you can either use SuiteQL or Saved Searches and have those automatically uh, included in your Excel report. Uh, you and you can do that using middlewares like. Uh, Celico's Integrate, Integrator I.O. or Power Automate. Same thing for dimensions. When I say dimensions, it's, uh, I mean, chart of accounts, custom segments, department, and any other information that you want to analyze on, you can automatically have those in your Excel report via safe searches or, or suite QL. Okay, and on this uh, video, the new, uh, I added a new date table that allows me to perform uh, time intelligence analysis, okay? This right here represents uh, the pivot table that I created on my previous video. I added additional columns, budget delta, prior year date delta. This box is right here. that serves as, as you know, uh, simple KPIs one for custom segment number one. This number right here represents the budget delta for this month. Right now I'm reporting on September 30, 2023. The date table, by the way, allows me to create this slicer and go here and change dates and everything else changes dynamically. But going back to this, this right here uh, represents that delta budget delta for this month for this custom segment. Same thing for custom segment number two here and a budget delta total percentage. So in this row right here, I have the total for budget versus actual. If I do this, I get that same number here. And I'm not using formulas on this, normal Excel formulas on these boxes right here. I'm using cube formulas. They live in your data model. I like to use them instead of Excel formulas because obviously with Excel formulas, there's a lot of maintenance that you have to go through in order to have them automatically updated, have them show correct numbers, and keep, with cube formulas, if you set up your data model, data model correctly, and obviously create the corresponding correct formula here, 
you don't have to worry about them. Same thing for DAX formulas here. When I say DAX formulas, I mean this right here. Uh, for this budget delta column, I have this budget versus delta DAX formula. I created formatting on it to show columns instead of, instead of numbers. Red means bad, green means good. This, this column right here presents prior deal, prior year delta. I don't have any numbers because for September prior year, I didn't have any information, but I do for October, but before we go to that, uh, quickly touch on this right here. This is a summary budget delta by uh, department, uh, sec uh, council segment and department. So this 100 net positive budget delta, 600 less the 500, uh, can be analyzed by, you know, cost of segment and correspond corresponding department. Same thing here, but using the percentage of the 5.88 percentage by the segment, department, cost of segment, department. Now, if we if I click on this, we can see uh, October information. We can see that prior year, prior year uh, column was populated. And for this year, we can see that we had have more uh, expenses in office supplies for custom segment number two under department two. But compared to prior year, we are doing good. Okay. Uh, so that's that type of analysis can be done in each account right here under each custom segment. Apparently, we are doing very good for this month in terms of custom segment uh, delta analysis analysis. But if we had this report in the on previous months, we we will have been able to see this huge red flag right here. Uh, this pivot chart represents the performance performance of each custom segment by month, starting October 31st, 2022, and ending on October of 2023. And these numbers are the budget delta, the difference between actuals versus budget by custom segment. For some reason, custom segment number two was underperforming by a lot. And ideally, management will have seen this and, you know, will either decide to adjust the budget for custom segment number two because first play, in the first place, it wasn't uh, real or realistic or, you know, some decisions will have been made in terms of restructuring the department or cutting back you know, on expenses, stuff like that. This is why you create these type of reports, right? To measure performance and adjust, do some decisions along the way. Uh, and with this Excel, you uh, the, the team would have been able to make those decisions uh, because unfortunately in NetSuite, you can't have, like I mentioned before, budget versus actual report that includes cuts and segments. To have this uh, automatically updated and live in some uh, cloud folder like OneDrive or SharePoint, you can set up your queries by going here, clicking clicking on each of them, going to properties, and click this box right here. Tell Excel to refresh this each 30 minutes, for example. Clicking OK. Doing the same thing for the other ones and upload this Excel to uh, OneDrive or SharePoint and restrict the access to view only. That way, the person or the team that is consuming this report will not be able to change it, but they will be able to see the, the, the data live.
and again make decisions based on that information. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has enhanced your knowledge on the topic. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. You can also find loads of other accounting software tips at our website at www.futuretaxes.com.